science is creative in a very similar way that art is creative. I don't think this, this, there is such a big distinction between being able to create freely is essential in science and, and, and in art. And that's why Janilia is a lovely place because if it looks like it's a you know, worthwhile experiment to do, if the scientific question is good, even though if it's risky and even though if you can't guarantee that it will work, they say, great, try it. I, as a Janilia Fellow, I'm, 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 I'm running a lab uh, with two postdocs. The questions of how the brain works is what, what motivate my research. I wanted to study uh, larval behavior. Drosophila larvae, they sense sound, light, touch. And uh, a big aspect of behavior is uh, selecting the appropriate reaction to the stimulus. This is a, a very important problem in, in neurobiology to understand how, based on sensory input, the nervous system produces appropriate motor output and often sequences of motor output. We give them very simple somatosensory stimuli, sound, air puff, and then quantify in great detail their reactions and the sequences of actions to these stimuli. And then we monitor them with the, their reactions with a camera, the whole population at once. And we try and understand which neurons and which regions of the brain and the uh, ventral nerve cord, which is the equivalent of our spinal cord, are important in uh, arranging uh, and executing these actions. Normally, they just crawl straight. When there is an air puff, they retract their heads. Just that, it retracts the head towards the body. And then they turn left, turn right, turn left, turn right, uh, trying to decide which way to go. So it's a form of decision making that we would like to understand. And so we have uh, now multiple neuron types involved in each of these behaviors and this was of course completely new. None of the neuron types involved in these behaviors were known previously except some of the sensory neurons. So we've identified multiple interneurons uh, involved in different aspects of these reactions and that's been very exciting. It's a wonderful place to set up a lab because one is much more than just a single lab on one's own uh, because just at the very start we benefited from a lot of research that has been done by our colleagues and here by our collaborators which means that with a lab of two people it's like having seven eight people somewhere else all this is incredibly powerful so it's a fantastic place to to start a lab for a young person my job is, of course, then only to carry out the experiments that we wanted to carry out and to think about the results and analyze the results and uh, come up with um, good hypotheses to test. You have full freedom to do things that are risky, projects that you could not do somewhere else because you can't necessarily, before you start, prove that it's going to work. And that's very exciting.